My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck! Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The Scum Bar. Right. Thanks. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. What be ye wanting, boy? I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this holy chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag. And no swag means no grog. And we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right, but you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the, the three, three trials. trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword. And the art of thievery. And the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get ye a sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword, master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh, you want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands in the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hi, they're a particularly vicious breed. You might be able to drug them or something. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot! <laughs> <laughs> What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, 
propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. <sighs> the stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir, nothing like it. <laughs> Uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bother you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Flop. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. Toady. Ne'er do well! I'm selling these fuck- Say there, son, how'd you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death-defying feat. Well, not so death-defying, really. A uh, dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well-known. Fabulous. Flying! Ferrucini, brothers! That's us! My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do... Is get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No, sorry. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. 
step right over here, son. Now, put on your helmet and get in the cannon, and we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? Where's my helmet? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just a recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? What is that? Some sort of code? Of course it's a code, you idiot. Never mind. Good night. Excuse me, but do... Now it's only you again. My cousin Sven sends his regards. I see. Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. What may I help you with, son? Wait. Don't say anything. I can sense your name is... is... Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No, no. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? Wow, that was amazing! Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the truth. Ah, I sense the guilt of stealing my chicken grows. Take it. It's yours. Why don't you want it? Is it jinxed with an ancient voodoo curse? No. The pulley squeaks. So? My mind-reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage, a long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah! I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes! I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Yikes! Hey, nice rat! Do you like rats? Yes, I love rats! They're very intelligent creatures.
<laughs> More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from Fable the Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. That's amazing. But true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. <laughs> I thought it was rats. Do you guys know the sneaky-looking man on the opposite corner? Saw you buying a map from that fellow over there. Have you looked at it yet? <laughs> Perhaps you should consider an alternate source. Our maps are top quality, not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. Want one? No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. Say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. <laughs> but this rat scared away the elephant. <laughs> Shut up! Of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? What's in the keg? Rum. Jam. Jam. Uh, rum. Uh, rum and jam. It's an old pirate favorite. Everybody knows that. I'm really interested in this pirating thing. What do you want? How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well, until the rats scared off the elephant. Now you've depressed us. Go home. Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything! I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike. And don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission, which I surely didn't give you. I, I beg your pardon. I must talk to you. I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. But as you have no sword, I doubt you're really serious. 
Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. Digmaster, the only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay. Wake me up if you need anything. Hey, you! Come over here. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Did you hear something back in here too? No. I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like... dancing lessons. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. What have you wantin', you scurvy lover? Nice night we're having, isn't it? I sure hopes you had something more important to stop me for. Why do you guys talk so funny? Pirate lingo. It's how everybody talked back then. Come on, Guybrush, play along. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way. Stop! You must pay a toll. Oh, please, can't I pass? Oh, boy, do you sound like a wimp. I don't like wimps. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? 
Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. No, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. Did you see my sign? I usually charge 30 pieces of eight for a big job like this one. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Distance, distance! No! Beat first, then lunge! Watch your footwork. Watch your footwork. No! Beat first, then lunge! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kinda like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you, You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with, So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? Oh, yeah? I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to... Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Would have been something like... First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Move out of the way, or I cuts my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. 
Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. I am rubber. You are glue. You fight like a dairy farmer. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You call yourself a pirate? I'm insulted you'd even try to use that insult on me. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win. Aye, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. Oh, yeah? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah? Where did my sword go? Aye, oh, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? I got this score on my face during a mighty struggle. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? You make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah? Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? Where did my sword go? What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Oh, yeah? <laughs> 
Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why? Did you want to borrow one? I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why, did you want to borrow one? There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I give up. You win. I'm back, and boy, are you in trouble this time. Let's get this over with. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. How appropriate! You fight like a cow! Only once have I met such a coward. Oh, yeah? You are a pain in the backside, sir. Oh, yeah? No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You run that fast? There are no clever moves that can help you now. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. My last fight ended with my hands covered with blood. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. Why, did you want to borrow one? I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. You gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Ahoy there! Fancy pants. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please. Take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Hey, this ain't no boutique. Don't take all day. Oh, Grago Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. 
You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely. Can't you see? I'm innocent. But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed. I didn't touch the stupid flowers. What flowers? The yellow conish in dormy flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cook at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips, but once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Cole's piracy. Sheriff Shinetop sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Fester Shinetop is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops. I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. He seems innocent to me. Why don't you let him out? Maybe you should mind your own business, stranger. I'll decide who's innocent and who's guilty around here. Sorry. Look, I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it's probably illegal. So forget it! Wherever you go on Melee, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. Man, is he a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? You better go before you get us both in trouble. I don't think I can get past them. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. the red button. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Doc! Go 
loafers. Beautiful. I can't open it. Uh oh. <laughs> that should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Hey. This might work on the rats. Thanks. Here, take this carrot cake in exchange. My Aunt Tilly made it. I've got the file. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. She said I could have it. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says you gave it to him. That's right, I did. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So, I gave you the idol, eh? Gee! Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Golly! My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do. I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Boo! Nothing here. Dwingly? I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? I'm going to go put this idol in my safe deposit box. Oh, really? 
I know a really safe locker you could put it in. Davy Jones' locker. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey! What are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. He caught her alone when she came down here to rescue you. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. So where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Hey, I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Oh, Governor, why did you have to risk your life for me? Maybe you cared for me more than I thought. Just as I now realize how much I care for you. It's my fault the Governor's in this mess, and I swear I'll get her out of it, even if I have to sail to Monkey Island myself to get her. Attention, Pirates of Melee. Your Governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. What's wrong, old sot? <laughs> the governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. <laughs> For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. <laughs> what can I do to save her? <laughs> you must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stan's used shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell him I sent you. We're old friends. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. Hey, Gray, a drink. I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Wow. And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh, yeah. Thanks. If there's anything I can ever do for you. Well, actually, there is something. I'm looking for brave people to join my crew and sail off to Monkey Island with me to rescue the governor. She's been abducted by the fearsome pirate LeChuck and is being held against her will somewhere in his secret hideout. I see. Well, Jess, hmm. LeChuck, you say. 
Well, yes. Yes, of course. We must sail to Monkey Island and... <gasps> hey, look behind you. I three had a monkey. I can't believe I fell for that. Pretty good trick, though. Meanwhile, having just returned from Melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kind of makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes, sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain. You've already got the T-shirt. What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh, no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible. What are we going to do? We could get a crew together and sail off after them. What an idea. Now, if we only had a captain. Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! 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 <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? Really? Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago. Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I 
I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha! Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. I don't believe it. You are a brave man after all. You faced the beast I've feared all these years. You had the guts to do what I never could. <sighs> I feel like such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 eggs. Oh, come on, Mr. Uh, Meat Hook. Mr. Meat Hook? You're a big, strong, good looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make a talk. Wanna see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway. You can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey. Maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea! Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. Howdy! I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything. You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Let's talk about money. Your money. Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. Oh, no more than 174 pieces of eight. Look. 
This is a very reasonably priced ship, but not that reasonable. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I got five other guys coming back to look at this baby today. Don't count on it being here if you change your mind. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. Ring bell for service. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, I, uh, you got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I'm a grog-swilling, foul-smelling pirate. Foul-smelling, yes. Grog-swilling, maybe. But a pirate? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Come back when you got some tattoos or a peg leg or at least an eye patch for crying out loud. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. And don't touch anything! Howdy! Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it. I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it? Hmm? What kind of price range were you thinking of? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course! Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? 
I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the taco meter? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. It's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm out of here.
Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. Otis, I thought I'd never see you again. Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? Glad you could make it, Carla. Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we gonna get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. Courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh... Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. Some piece of work, eh? Nasty case of yellow waxy buildup, though. Huh. Yes, it's quite impressive. Um, I'm afraid I must be going now. Pressing business, you know. <laughs> well, I don't see anything special about it. Ah, <sighs> I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Yes, it is a nice view. Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> Who are you? Me? My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. I live here. Well, not right here. In the fort on the volcano. Were you stranded? You think I stay here from my health? 
Oh, boy! Hey, nice spyglass. Looks just like... Say, where is my spyglass? Oh, perfect. I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. You don't fool me, Sonny. I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um, that's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um, well, perhaps I could take you back, too. But I've got to rescue the governor first. I think she's on that ghost ship underground. Oh, okay. How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hope to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail the ship back by myself. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. There's something must have happened. How come you didn't just go with the chimps? Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! What happened to your pants? What pants? You say you got a key from the locals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the monkey head, see? Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. So you're not the only one on the island? I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head-hunter-gatherers, actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No! I needed to get back my banana picker! Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's lost weight. Never looked better. <laughs> what happened to him? Oh, nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol, which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot. From Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law regarding suit against cannibal tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. Uh. 
Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? You've got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? Well, yes. Although lately, we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. We're still as vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Don't eat me! I'm a mighty pirate! That means his skin will be leathery and his meat tough and the stringy. You're of no use to us, nutritionally speaking. But if you had some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, well... Do you have anything of a more spiritual value? You ain't going nowhere until you give us something. Obviously, you have nothing for us. We might eat you, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, let me show you our guest hunt. That should do it. Cannibals. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. H.T. I might fit through that hole, but I don't think this banana picker will. And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it. But think of your arteries. We are cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah. But cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. Ah, the banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? Now then, how did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? Don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Anything? Hmm. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... Hey, wow, this is impressive. Lemonhead, take a look at this. Ooh, that's nice. And it says, made by Lemonhead, just like one of mine. We should take this to the Great Monkey. Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. All I want is my banana picker back. But will they give it to me? They want the monkey head key back first. Hey, thanks. I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. That's okay. The people I'm looking for aren't living. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? 
those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs, wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. So why don't you do that now? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But the Chuck stole the whole thing. Where is he hiding it? He's in a place beneath this island, somewhere in a huge system of catacombs, a hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. And then LeChuck came and ruined everything, right? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. LeChuck came in here and stole your root? What a cad. And I suppose stealing bananas is any better. I'm off to find LeChuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find LeChuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without them. Hey, Ixnay on the Edhay of the Avigator Nay. W the what? Nothing. Nothing. What's the Edhay of the Avigator Nay? I see he is baffled by our native dialect. Good. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well... Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Oh, look! I think he likes you. Just follow his nose and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then, get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. Okay, we're here. Now what do you want from me? May I please have that necklace? No. But thanks for asking so politely. Oh, come on, please. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty please with sugar on top? Oh, all right, you big baby. You can have it. Hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? A long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later... I did it! I got the root! Wow! 
Look, he's not kidding. Here it is. He's not such a wimp after all. Come on, let's go make the brew of the fermented root. Wait here, we'll be right back. Nice monkey. There it is. One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. Fan? If you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Good luck. Thanks. After some more furious paddling. You scared me half to death! Balmy weather we're having, isn't it? It's always like that down here. Have a taste of root beer, you evil spirit! Wait! If it's ghosts you're after, I can tell you where the others are! Tell me where the ghost ship is. If I tell you, will you promise not to hurt me? Okay, I promise. Okay. They all left for the wedding. What wedding? LeChuck is marrying the governor of Melee Island. What? But how will they... Why are you still here? My head fell into the lava there, and I had to chase after it. And when I came back, they had gone. Shame, too. I hate to miss the wedding. Where's the wedding? There's a lovely church on Melee Island. They're headed there. Melee Island? Oh, no. I've got to go after them. I've got to stop that wedding. Bye! Bob! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I missed the boat to the wedding. Hey! No problem! <laughs> we can take mine! Let's go! Hey, uh, hey, um... Will you take me to Melee Island? I'll lend you my ship if you promise to rescue me with it. Okay. Well, let's go! Well, that certainly was easier than the trip to Monkey Island. I wonder where Tooth Rot's gone to now. Now I'll have to stop the wedding by myself. Yikes! Hey! Wait a second! I'm selling this fine mouthwash. Is it mint flavored? I only like the minty kind! Cool. If there be any man with reason, that these two. Uh, people should not be united in blissful matrimony. Let him speak now, or forever hold his peace. Elaine! Hey! Who's that? You! Take this, you vaporous voodoo vermin! Take what? Are you trying to bribe me? Governor! Governor! Governor? What's going on? Oh, Guybrush, you mad fool! I'm impressed you came to rescue me, but it really wasn't necessary. I had everything well in hand. 
Unfortunately, your arrival has made it necessary for me to tip my hand early. How? Who? If you're here, then who's that in the dress? <laughs> what? Don't scare them! They have my ghost sack and root beer bottle! Oh, I'll get it! Oops. Ugh, nice going, guy brush. Now I've got to chase them down to get my voodoo root beer back. But... I... Uh... Hey! You dared come here and confront me? I can't believe your audacity. I've just remembered an appointment at the dentist's. Um... Say, now... Let's not be hasty. Ah! 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 to see you, son. How's the ship? If you're interested in trading up, I can give you a fair price for it. Howdy, partner. You know, just by looking at you, I can tell you're a man of the world. A man with an eye for quality. A man who knows a good bargain when he... Yikes! Oh, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. That's okay. You know, LeChuck was a deviant, obnoxious, slithery, creepy, crawly sort of a guy, but I'll say one thing for him. What's that? It sure looks nice exploding against the night sky. Yes, it's very romantic. Can I buy you a root beer? There's more at Stan's. Oh my gosh, I hope Stan's okay. Uh, I wish my crew could have seen this. You know, I can't shake the feeling that Guybrush was somehow responsible for that big rock sinking the ship. Yeah, as soon as we find a way off this island, we're gonna have ourselves a little chat with Mr. Threepwood. Let's get out of this hut first. Yeah, at least I learned something from all this. What's that? Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. A what? I don't know. Not sure why I said that. <laughs> 